Good evening, everybody, and my profound apologies for not being able to be with an awful lot of friends to help honor our special pal, uh, Samantha Power. What a great thing that she is being awarded the Daniel Patrick Moynihan a Prize of the American Academy of Political and Social Science. And in so many ways, uh, Samantha defines what this prize is about in honor of a man that I had the privilege of serving with in the United States Senate. I think everybody there tonight remembers full well because we repeat it so often these days, Pat's uh, incredible admonition to us that everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. I can't think of a moment where uh, that is more apt, and I can't think of anybody who has a sustained record of conducting a battle to guarantee that we deal with facts, but particularly that we understand the toughest facts, the facts about genocide, the facts about uh, unfairness, human trafficking, about conflict. And amazingly, Samantha sought out conflict, maybe from the earliest stage. Perhaps it's because of where she came from. And it's perhaps because she is a naturalized American coming from Ireland at age nine that she had a special understanding of what it means to be American. Uh, that's something that I think I learned a little bit from Teresa, who is also a naturalized American coming from Mozambique. And I think Samantha exhibits a very special passion that some people take for granted about who we are, and what we represent, what our values are. I am personally particularly grateful for the relationship that I had beyond just friendship, uh, but the special relationship we shared in our efforts to bring to life the vision of the Obama administration and to stick with the idealism uh, taken from her latest title that has defined Samantha for her entire life. Uh, we've been lucky to have that. Uh, her book, the Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Problem from Hell, uh, The Age of Genocide, maybe should be followed up by a sequel today, The Problem from Hell, The Age of Mendacity. And we're sort of continuing to live a very real nightmare at this moment, as everybody knows. But Samantha has exhibited a fearless, tenacious commitment to holding us all accountable to the idealism that we spout and listen to and hear espoused by candidate after candidate and particularly by some people who have an opportunity to live it today and choose not to. So Samantha, thank you for the great partnership that you created as the, uh, I think, 28th uh, ambassador to the United Nations, which you share, of course, with Daniel Patrick Moynihan. Both of you having landmark moments when you uh, defined America's uh, contempt for the absence of belief in values. And I think particularly the moments when you asked people if they had no shame, particularly uh, your Russian colleague, uh, with respect to what they were doing in Syria. Uh, your voice is the very important voice that President Obama has called it, the very important voice that uh, Time Magazine and The New Yorker and New York Review of Books and so many other uh, important uh, uh, publications have heralded and we're all lucky. I think everybody who's there tonight just feels lucky to have an American public servant of your quality uh, and of your commitment. And we all love you and we congratulate you. And tonight I know uh, Daniel Patrick Moynihan's legacy is being properly recognized. Take care.